Tubers, two bats, crazy people. Uh, right away, before I get into it, viewer discretion. Um, mature audiences only. Okay, there you go. Kids, get out of the room. This video is one where I have the opportunity to sit down and chat with one of the working ladies here in Dumaguete. There is a very, very small section in town where this is somewhat prevalent. And my wife actually went there a couple of three weeks ago and was walking the dog along the boardwalk and um, met one and started up a conversation and did a little quick interview with her right there on the sidewalk. And what do you know? Today, she come rolling up with her <laughs> and said, hey, you want to put this woman on your channel? I said, absolutely. So this is my interview with a woman named Clarice. She is 25 years old, and she has been working the street of Dumaguete for about two years. So here is my interview with Clarice, the working girl. All right, so we are here talking with Clarice. Yes. Thanks for coming on the World Channel, Clarice. Yeah. And you are a working girl. Yeah. Now, how old are you? I'm already 25. You're 25 years old. <laughs> yes. And you live here in Dumaguete? Yeah. All I your live... life? No, I was just a friend. Where are you Only. from? Pamplona. Pamplona. And how long? Gross. They grow. So, okay. And how long have you lived in Dumaguete? I think already in five years of my friend together. Five years. You live yeah. with your friend. Yeah. Okay, so you're 25. Yeah. And how long have you been a working girl? Almost two years. Here in Dumaguete? Yeah. What about before? Were you a working girl where you lived no. before? No. No. What did you do before? When you, before you came to Dumaguete? I Dumaguete's? just helped my half-mother in, uh, in Pamplona. Just helping your mother? Yeah. Okay. It's not real of mother. It's okay. Yeah. Where, what happened to your family? My family is um, Manila because the husband is from Manila, so we like to stay in Manila for now. Okay. And it's very difficult for me to get my half mother because yeah, my half sister is talking about me shit, so I go out for my half mother of my house. So it sounds like you had a complicated yeah. life growing yeah. up yes. as of a child. Yeah. And we won't get into all the details. But um, so as a working girl yeah. here on the Dumaguete Boulevard, yes. May and I have seen you a number of times. Mm -hmm. May met you before, my yeah. wife. Yeah. And May just introduced us right now yeah. so that we could have this little talk. Yeah. Uh, do you like what you do? No. No. I don't like. Very difficult for me. I, even me, I have family good and take care of me. I never, never do it. I see. Yes. So why do you do it? Because I don't have money to, you know, buying something, food or something. Okay, so you do it strictly for the money. Yeah. And you don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. What's the worst part of it? What's the one thing you like the least that you don't like? Is it the way the men treat you? Yeah, I don't like to working like a working girl and you know, I think most of looking, people looking and then I think you don't respect about you. Yeah, that's why I'm just thinking. Mm, okay. Maybe people never, never respect. Even me, I continue working girl. I just thinking I stop and then, yes, I can do it to stop because okay. it's no good for me. Even me and sick and then I don't have to family in the market, it's just only friend. And my friend he don't have money too much, so he have many kids, it's a problem for me. Understood. Yes. So that's a hard life. Yeah. Yes. And that's true. You're are you popular as a working girl? Do you have a customer every day? No. No. I, even me I continue and every day, of course I have. And then I need to control my body. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how, how many days do you work? Out, um, out of seven days, do you just walk along the boulevard? Until yeah, sometimes I'm going to go out with my friend and even when I'm tired to get customer, I no. Okay. I go back to my home. Okay. Yeah. So when you do work, 
Uh, do you just walk on the boulevard or do you go into the nightclub? The bar club? of a uh, why not? Do Sometimes you? I sit in honeycomb. I'm not sitting on the boulevard because many people watching me and you know I have many friends and why not? So I'm I'm shy a little bit to sitting on boulevard all the time. So but, I sit in honeycomb and why okay. not? Yeah. And your friends are they other ladies that work? Yeah. Like you? Yeah. Okay. And so when you work, if you work, do you have one customer in a night? Do you have more than one? One. One. Only one. Only one. Not more. Okay. Just one. Just one. Yes. And is it normally what's considered to be, do you spend just a little time with them or do you spend all night? No, or no. Or is that not, up not, to the customer or up to you? Not whole, not whole night. Not all night? No. Okay. I go back to my home sleep. Okay, so do you, how do you charge the customer? How um, do you figure how much you're gonna, he's going to pay? Just in sometimes 2000 sometimes and 3000 So I think just only me and the Magiti, I can charge to like this Udabani because you know, many girls and sometimes you have 500 or something, 400. I, even me and the man is something talking 500. I never follow. Okay. Even one thousand, I never follow. Okay. Yes. So you get paid more than a lot of the other ladies you know. Yeah. And because I think it's because you're very skinny. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, I feel the truth. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah I, I I just thinking myself, you know, the man meaning one like a skinny girl, I you know, mm -hmm. he don't like an old face and fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know many foreigners in the Magiti like small. Okay, That's true. why I think I charge in money in more than 3000 or 2000 and then, yeah, she can do it. Okay. Yes. So, how many times a week are you with a customer? Me? Uh-huh. Uh, one week or something? Yeah. Or, um, I think four. Four times a week. Yeah. So four out of seven days, you have a customer. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you meet the customer. I just uh, meet in uh, sometimes in ask for Facebook or something, WhatsApp, and then I give to the man and then and takes a word of meat and then go to a honeycomb or why not. Okay. Yeah. So if you're at the honeycomb or you're at the nightclub, does the man come up to you? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yes. Okay. And He's very excited <laughs> because and me, I'm very small. <laughs> she likes small body. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, I believe. It. <laughs> I Even believe I Facebook, I profile, oh, and it's not fake face. And you know, most of a girl we have um, post in Facebook in fake, change the face. No, not for me. Not for you. And then. Even I post in Facebook and something post in a picture and no naked and then, oh, she giving me heart or something. Uh -huh. What's the mean of heart? Yeah. <laughs> <Can> you heart? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she like me a lot. <laughs> so, do you meet customers on Facebook too? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So of you course. Have, you have a, I, oh, mini well, phone and ask for me Facebook <laughs> and WhatsApp. Okay. And number. And so, if you meet a guy at the honeycomb yeah all right and he comes up to you and says i like you i want to be with you yes okay does he That's ask true. you does he ask you how much it's going to be yeah and you say two thousand yeah. or three thousand and if he can do it because okay. i'm very small <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah now, when you guys agree to agree do you normally just go back to his hotel or to his yeah apartment? he want to go back for me and then and then i tell her i'm sorry I cannot go back, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but when you meet, where do you go? Do you go to his hotel room or do you go to his apartment? Uh, sometimes in, um, she told me and already in my room, you can knock knock and give something number of the room. So I go to the room so I can meet outside also. Yeah. Okay. Does he ever just take you like in his car on the back of his yes. motorbike and drive you to his yeah. hotel? Yeah. Are most of the men that you are with, do, are they here on vacation or do they live here? Vacation, sometimes they live here. Sometimes, sometimes. they live here? Yeah. Now, if they, do they ever call you Sometimes up? the man, he have a wife. 
And they have a wife. Yeah. And I, it happened to me before. And I think the foreign from sister in Valencia and a wife in Goto and uh, Cebu. Mm -hmm. And a wife in Cebu and pick up me in Bolivar the man. Because uh -huh. I have my Facebook. So, so the wife go to in Cebu. And after the wife is away and go to uh, Dumaguete. So you have Facebook. So I can, she can call me. I see. Yeah. So do you have customers that you see more than once? So <laughs> is there guys that call you whenever their wife leaves town? Yeah. And they say, come on over? Yeah. Or do, you, do they come and rent a hotel room? How yes. does that work? And she cannot bring to the house the right. because she have, a, she have a wife. Okay. And maybe she's afraid, I think, maybe wife is come back. Right. And so she's rented the hotel okay. in Dumaguete and yeah, you All can right. meet me there in Dumaguete. Have you ever had any problems with the foreigners no. being rough with you no. or hurting you or anything like that? No, this is never? Not, never. Never in my life. Thank God. Because most of you like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell the truth. Oh my God. Okay, well, I, I, I believe mean, you. I text and then I send to you know, something picture and it's very excited and maybe uh -huh. no showers and then. <laughs> your, okay. your wife is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to ask for the gory details as to what happens <laughs> once the hotel <laughs> door closes. But we're going to say that you spend an hour with them, two hours, three hours? Uh, more than one hour, more than two hours. More than two hours. Yes. And then you're done. Yeah. And then 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let me ask you this. Are any of the foreigners that you meet handsome? Mm, many, many. Many handsome like me. <laughs> They're good looking men? Yeah. Okay. Are they young men or old men? Sometimes old. Sometimes old. Yeah. I have some uh, old man and then very, very big and then, right. and then maybe the tricycle is broke. <laughs> 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 That's pretty descriptive. Yeah, it's the big. <laughs> I think that and gives a pretty good mental picture of one of your customers. It's walking, walking like a like a duck. Yeah. And then, so your big tummy, and uh -huh. you cannot see in uh, uh, the foot. Yeah. Because very big tummy. Now, do you see a lot of those guys, or just, or just once in a while? Mm. I mean, the mo are most of the guys old and fat? Yeah. Yeah. Most of them. Yes. Okay. And most of them are older. Because I follow who are very fat because and um, she's paying like three thousand. So, oh my oh, okay. God, like she's out of clothes like a pregnant. Okay. Maybe. So <laughs> it's almost like you're charging by the kilo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably at thirty-three point four. <laughs> I think you figured out the key that the guy is really fat and really old. <laughs> Is gonna even, need, have a problem. even he knows he's going to have to pay more. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> even you have a problem, I can hide him. <laughs> well, we're making light of this, and I, I want to get back to something that, that is, is maybe difficult to talk about. But you did this because you needed to. How did you get started doing this? Was it your idea, or did one of your friends tell you to do it? What happened? My friend. Your friend? Yeah. And so your friend was a working, or is a working yeah. girl. Yes. And she said, she said, hey, Clarice, she's why don't you come? She's older in the Boulevard. Okay. That's why she's teaching me working there. So she taught you. Yeah. And so she taught you what to say yeah. and what to wear yeah. and how to act. Yeah. And she did that to help you? Yes, yeah, she's helping me. Okay. So it, with her mind, she was helping you. For now, she's already in Manila. And she's in Manila. Yeah. Okay. So she showed you the proverbial ropes, yeah. as we say. Yeah. And so you've been doing this for two years. I yes. think we've ascertained that you are with somebody about four nights a week. Uh, and that's enough money to keep you going. But you, how much longer do you want to do this? Or do you, would you quit today if you could? for how long inside of something there Well, was. do you still want to do this? Like in a year from now, do you think you'll still be a working girl? No. No? No. You'd like to stop? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. well I think everybody, myself, and it's everybody watching will 
we'll, we'll pray that that happens. Even I continue and then it's no good for me because I don't have family to in the Magaiti. Right. So just only friend and helping of well, food and so I, it's a problem for me. I've been continue I working the girl there. Mm-hmm. It make me sick. It makes you sick. It's no That's good. sad. That is sad. No, I, uh, for me, I tell the truth, I never seek my life because every month I go to hygiene to doctor. Okay. And so I, including of uh, injury for no pregnant. Okay. Yes. Have you ever had any kind of disease? No. That's lucky. Never in my life. Okay. No. So, but every month you go to the doctor for yeah. checkup. Yeah. Yeah. I have one. Um, even me and I forget the doctor and call me. Uh huh. Yes. And says come in for a checkup. Yeah. And you get yourself checked yes. up. Yes. And so far so good. Yeah. You have not had any disease. Nothing. No. You've not had pregnant. No. Uh, none of that. Because including or injury. Because what? Including hygiene or injury. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, that's good. To I know. tell the truth. Oh, my, Most of the girl working and why not working in Bolivar? He don't care about it. You know, even they're sick and they don't have money, and it's a problem. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And so, the, how many other girls work? And uh, Bolivar or something in the bar? Yeah. Many? Um, how many? 10, 15, 20? Mm, more than 20. More than 20? Yes. So more, it, more and some are very old. Some are really old? Oh, yeah. Okay. Like a very old pussy. Uh-huh. I don't know if we could say that on YouTube. We may have to bleep that word out. It started with a P and it ended with a Y. But we're going to have to do a beep on that one. Okay. I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe we'll just upload it and see if it works. Yeah, most of the money don't like all of our face. You know? You like, yeah. oh, and you like, um, nice girl, nice face, nice, uh -huh. and talking, good uh -huh. combination talking. Right. Even you, Getting customer and he cannot do English, nothing. How unhappy the man? No, never well, happy. Never happy. Yeah, okay. very quiet. And you need to have English and go good combination talking and you know. So the, the key is you need to be able to entertain the guy, not only in private, but you need to be able to entertain him while you're meeting him, yeah. talk to him, tell him what he wants yeah. to hear, I imagine. Yeah, that's um, why the man happy. Mm -hmm. and can talk the life and you know most of the man in ask, ask for your life and what uh, continue something uh, working girl some, uh -huh. yes most of the man do any of the guys want you to be their girlfriend yeah do they i have my boyfriend three years and a half in you, cebu in cebu you had german a, okay and then i broke up because He's always drinking Sandua at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And then I cook the food and of course I go to the market and then I come back and he never eat the food. And then I make coffee, he never eat, drink coffee. Drinking Sandua all the time, all the time. Oh my God. So he was a drunk? Yeah. And, and I, you, okay. of, of course girlfriend is not happy. No. And so if here, are you, do you want a boyfriend? No. Why Almost not? two years. Why not? Mm. Why don't you want a boyfriend? Not yet. Because most of the men just only for pussy for fun. Okay. So most of the men That's you it. meet are for fun. Yes. But if you met a man that wasn't just looking for fun, yeah. would you still Most of the foreigner come to Philippines is only shit for looking. Ah. Yeah. So, okay. So would you have a relationship with a foreigner? Uh, if he was a nice man, not a customer, you just met him at the market? Mm, just thinking myself, um, for a moment, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. Okay. I want to stay single. When I need to, I need, I'm just thinking myself, I need to stop the working girl there. Uh -huh. Because it's no good for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you stopped being a working girl, what would you do? Would I, you? I just, because my half-mother, see, He's calling me, and she want to go to me Manila, so okay. you know, that's why I just think I need to stop uh, doing a Bolivar shit. Okay. Yeah. And so, if you stopped working, you went to Manila. Yeah. And who is this? Is this your mother or half mother? Half mother. 
half mother. Yeah. Can you explain to me what a half mother is? Like, um, mm, you know, like, um, you know, my mother is this. Did she give birth to you? Yeah. Okay. And uh, even me, I one month, and I I never looking my mother in the face, and somebody found me, so. Well, I I got confused there. Is this your real mother in Manila? No. 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 Okay. So you were born and you were abandoned. Yeah. They just gave you away yeah. or left you. Yeah. So she was abandoned at birth. Yeah. Is what we're talking about yeah. here. And this woman that you call your half mother, she took you in yeah. as a baby. Yeah. Understood. Yes. Okay. And so you feel obligated, obviously. You must love her. Yeah. And I'm sure she loves you. Yeah. And the problem is, uh, you have uh, she have a daughter, a boyfriend, and it's very difficult to together. Okay. All right. So there's yeah. dysfunction in the family and somewhere along now, the line. And for now, she have a boyfriend for now, and so. My half sister never together with my mother. Okay. So my mother is he's calling me and he want to go back to me in Manila. That's why I just thinking I stop in Bolivar. Really? Yeah. When will you stop? And my mom is and uh, recently is calling me on cell phone. Okay. Maybe I can stop or almost one month. Okay. I'm waiting for one month. My mom to pick up. She want to go in uh, Dumaguete. Great. Yes, and he will uh, bring me there in Manila. Well, you know what? You're a very nice, funny, outgoing person. And yes. normally, a person like you may, I know she <laughs> likes you because she thinks you're super funny, yeah. okay? And May doesn't judge you, yeah. and I don't it, judge it you. Me and you my life just... is never changed and always friendly. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm, I'm always friendly. So we always want to be your friend. Yeah. But as your friend, we would like to see you leave. <laughs> yeah, we don't normally say that to friends, mm -hmm. but I would love to see you have the opportunity, and I know my wife would also. Yeah, she, she would love to see you leave. Yeah. Stop being a working girl. Yes. And go to Manila with your half mother. Yeah, I'm and, honest. And, and, and change your life around. Yeah. And make it better. Yes. And maybe just get a normal job. And I think you're right. I yes. think that staying single is best for you right yeah. now. Yeah. And up to God if someone a man comes into your life yeah right yeah okay well you know what i gotta clarice i gotta just thank you for being so thank honest you. so open thank you my friend very nice <laughs> we'll see you crazy people next time say bye clarice bye-bye all right <laughs> cheer up <laughs>